What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. So guys, currently at the time of filming, it is December 2020. Home stretch here, baby. We're at the tail end of 2020. I can see 2021. It is right there, just out of reach. And we are reaching the climax because I just heard that there are apparently aliens here. There's like a, a galactic federation. So, <laughs> oh boy, we're wrapping up to a very, very interesting end to this year. Uh, but you know what? what's also contributing to this crazy goings on for the end of 2020? Well, it seems like the Omega Speedmaster Professional is being discontinued. <gasps> Federico from Federico Talks Watches actually already did a really good episode explaining all the new things done to the new Omega Speedmaster Professional. So wait, 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 hold on. Cause now I'm confused. Now that I'm hearing the words coming out of my mouth, if there's a new Omega Speedmaster Professional, then the Omega Speedmaster Professional, it, it, it didn't get discontinued, did it? It's 4.39 PM, let's get down to business. <laughs> Now, I know this might be kind of a bit of a semantic argument, but uh, yeah, the Omega Speedmaster Professional didn't really get discontinued, did it? It just got an update. And can you really be surprised? I mean, throughout the decades, Omega has made bajillions of variants for pretty much every watch they've ever come out with. I mean, there's a ton of different variants for each reference number, let alone all the different years, all the different lines, all the different series. Uh, they've just been very consistently making a ton of different variations for all of their watches and this inconsistency within the various reference numbers has kind of contributed to the fact that people kind of generally see Rolex as a tier above Omega and uh, yeah yada 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 there's authenticity concerns uh, there's a bunch of different things that make Omega kind of second tier when it comes to Rolex I've made an uh, episode explaining all about that right here and that's gonna upset a bunch of people but I digress okay the point is Here's everything you need to know about the Omega Speedmaster Professional being discontinued in 2020. It's not. It isn't being discontinued. You see, you're still able to get the Sapphire Crystal variant or the Hesalite Crystal variant. Again, Hesalite Crystal, that's the way to go, in my opinion, for this watch. You're still able to get the Handwind Caliber, although now it's a 26 joule Caliber 3861 coaxial master chronometer grade chronograph movement. And yeah, the dial, you know, it's a bit more dynamic. There's a bit more depth to it. It's a stepped dial. I like that. I like seeing uh, different dimensions. Oh, kind of a play on word because it's kind of a moon watch get it and oh I actually already mentioned the Galactic Federation <whistles> and earlier this week we did a Saturn 5 review whoa dude it makes you think what if this week was already planned out ahead of time what if I already knew that we would be talking about space things what if Jewish people are actually reptilians and we live on the flat moon. The earth is round, the moon is flat. We never went there. Well, I've been there because I'm Jewish. Um, well, you know what? This video just got my channel demonetized, I think. Back to the Omega Speedmaster. Okay, so this new Omega Speedmaster Professional, uh, the pricing is $7,400 right about uh, for the Sapphire variant and $6,500 for the Hesalite variant, of course, in my opinion, when it comes to the Speedy Pro, uh, to pay homage. Of course, in the English pronunciation, it's homage. You can even say, see the little phonetic key there in the dictionary, homage. That's the proper way of saying it if you're American. Hey, I, don't come for me, come for the dictionary. If you wanna pay homage to the original, you know, Moonwatch, Hesalite is fine, it's fun, it's cool, it's classic, it's retro. So guys, if you couldn't tell, I'm not really ranting about the Omega Speedy Pro itself because I'm, I think it's fine. I'm not against it in any way. The pricing, it's well under 10 grand. Uh, from what I can see here out of all the information I've been able to find, it's not limited edition or special edition, which Omega has been kind of guilty of over we're doing in the recent past so uh, that's good I like that and the fact that they're giving you the option for sapphire or hesalite that's great too I think what I'm more ranting about is the fact that people freak out over every little thing like I don't think I would really consider this a discontinuation of the Omega speedy pro I think it's just an update and again if there is something I want to harp about it's that Omega 
they do a little bit too many variations of all their different watches. So if this is the update that they're choosing to go with, that's fine. It's a great movement, really fun dynamic step dial, uh, looks slick, looks sharp where it has to be, and it looks very competent when we're looking at these really fun, uh, historically rich, spacey chronographs. So um, yeah, I'm a fan of it. The price is right. It's not crazy, not a limited edition. They didn't totally muck it up when it comes to any of the form or function or design. And uh, yeah, there's nothing really negative to say about that. But don't freak out, guys. The Omega Speedy Pro is going to be here for a good long while. It's not being discontinued in my opinion. So guys, I know this was kind of a short little succinct rant, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Do you really consider this a discontinuation of the Omega Speedy Pro as you knew it? Or do you think this is just kind of an update for 2020 going into 2021? Please leave me a comment and I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed yourself here today, uh, well, have no fear because uh, we do a rant every single Friday and sometimes they get a little heated. So please, if you're interested, we have a full playlist of T3 watch rants. Click up here and check those out. Some of them are a little crazier than others, but they're all fun. I just ate California rolls and there was like, I think some like sesame seeds on the rice. And I think I feel one in my teeth. So I'm hoping that it wasn't in my teeth the whole episode because I'm just gonna get roasted. Got to edit it out. Are you editing out, Gato? I need to look cool on YouTube. I need to look cool! I am the watch world's heartthrob. I'm the YouTube watch reviewer's sex symbol, you know? So we have a image to upkeep. But guys, please check out all the affiliate links in the description below. That'll take you to a nice little shopping list for every watch collector. There's some watch toolkits, watch winders, watch straps, things that every watch collector needs uh, in my affiliate store that'll take you to the Amazon. Uh, the Amazon. Oh my God, I'm 31. I'm speaking like a very old man. 2020 has ruined me. Check out my personal website, www.thetimetellershop.com. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for hanging out with me today on this T3 watch rant. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with everyone you know. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.